Federal investigators releasing new images of cracks found on the FIU bridge days before the bridge came crashing, crashing down, killing six. Local 10's Louis Aguirre live now at FIU with what else the NTSB is releasing in this investigation. Louis. Well, Calvin, what we do know is that in the six-page report released by the NTSB, they did not find any problems with the concrete and the steel bars that were used in the bridge, seeming to lessen the possibility of construction error contributing to this bridge collapse. The most alarming part of the report, as you mentioned, were these new photographs showing big, huge, large, deep cracks on that bridge. The photos don't lie. Four ominous-looking cracks developing on the deck of FIU's pedestrian bridge right in the section that's believed to have failed, causing the March 15th deadly collapse on busy Tamiami Trail, killing five drivers and one worker. The photos just released in an update by investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board looking into what caused the deadly disaster. It was uh, sent to me a couple of hours ago. Uh, and it was nauseating. Stuart Grossman is the attorney for Richard Humble, who survived the collapse. Humble's close friend, Alexa Duran, who was driving him that day, did not. Humble and the Duran family, just two of several lawsuits filed as a result of the tragedy. It clearly shows that the bridge was in no condition to be moved, that something terribly wrong had occurred during its construction. The new photographs now raise even more questions. They were taken three days after the completed bridge had already been lifted in place with busy Southwest 8th Street open to traffic flowing below. This after engineers had already raised concerns about a particular crack before the bridge was even installed. Still, two days later on March 15th, crews worked to tension the rods even though they knew those cracks had opened. I don't know how people sleep at night that had anything to do with the design construction or attempted repair of this bridge. Very important to state that the NTSB with this report has reached no definitive conclusion as to what caused that bridge to collapse. We reached out to FIU. They released a statement saying they are cooperating with the investigation. But we're not able to comment on this new report. Reporting live from Southwest Miami, Louis Aguirre, Local 10.